The coronavirus pandemic has been a test of faith for many churches that remain closed in the valley. Pastors say they've seen an impact on tithing. Our Kenesha Dees asked how they've managed during this hard time. I'm here at Fellowship of Faith Church where the parking lot is open, as you can see behind me, for a food drive. However, the building itself remaining closed. It's one of many churches still closed due to the Safer at Home order. The issue now, tithing. It has affected it tremendously. However, the same faith that I've been preaching to my people, that's the same faith that I have to practice in front of my people. Pastor Troy Garner with Fellowship of Faith Church says now more than ever, online tithing is needed. He says payroll have been affected. It has affected our resources at least by half, and um, the, the online giving has picked up. But again, just being there in the assembly, it has affected our, our, our giving tremendously. Pastor Jeremiah Chester with St. Mark Baptist Church in Huntsville says support from members of the church have helped a lot with outreach causes. We have made up for uh, what we've lost in tithe, uh, in benevolent offering and outreach. Pastor Quentin Williams of Life Point Church in Albertville says his church under construction after a fire last year, the church already undergoing a transition. He says online giving has gone from 60% to 80% last month. I get nervous looking up the what comes in each month. Uh, that's probably the human side of me, but God's been so faithful. And outreach minister Cody Michael with Decatur Church of Christ says the changes in tithing is barely noticeable. It's not bad at all. I mean, we're, everything we typically do, we're still continuing forward with and everything's covered very, very well. Churches have remained closed due to the safer at home order that's expected to end on May 15th. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha Dees of UZDX News.